Hello and good day. Welcome to this video. This is a video, a description of JS Box 436 four part corrals, which has recently been published by Box Scholar Publishing. And I want to go over this publication with you and show you what there is in it. It's a very exciting book. It took a whole calendar year to prepare. I am speaking right now, September 19th. 2021. Now, in 2017, four years ago, Box Scholar published Sight Reading in Harmony, which is a systematic approach to learning box four-part chorales for sight reading and musical analysis. And so if you're familiar with Sight Reading in Harmony, which is one of the leading sight reading systems of the world today, you will have learned that Box corrals are introduced in a five-tier system, uh, easy to more difficult, uh, to help in the learning of reading music and sight reading. And if you're familiar with sight reading in harmony and have benefited from it, you will absolutely love this new publication by Box Scholar. This is a natural continuation of sight reading in harmony because it consists of all of Bach's chorales, the most chorales out of any book to date, the 436. This book has 65 more chorales than the very popular 371 chorale book, the uh, so-called Riemenschneider edition. 65 more. This is called the ultimate edition for performance, study, and sight reading. For piano, keyboard, and music theory. This is excellent for uh, music theory and harmony in the college classroom. It is an Urtext edition, no fingerings, ordered alphabetically in German according to chorale melody. Includes BWV index for easy reference. Edited and formatted for piano, keyboard by Dr. Corey Hall. So let's open this and see what lies within. Here is the title page. There's a two page introduction here and there's a bullet list here explaining all of the main features of this edition. Most of those I'll, I'll go over with you right now. This was completed in September, 2021, uh, almost exactly four years after Sight Reading in Harmony. So we turn here to the table of contents, which consists of 15 pages. It's a very detailed table of contents in which the chorales are ordered in alpha, alphabetically according to the German title of the chorale melody. Okay, it's not the text, it's not the words, but it's the chorale melody. And then underneath each one of these uh, headings here, you have the number of chorales that share that same chorale melody. So this first one, for example, has two chorales which share that melody. This one here only has one. You go down here to this chorale melody, and there are four chorales that share that chorale melody. Also included in the table of contents is the composer of the chorale melody and the date it was composed, if known, and also the, uh, the cantata it comes from, if any, and also the number in the 371 chorale book, if it comes from that as well. So those are the references here in the 15-page table of contents, which is a very nice detailed alphabetical list of all 436 chorales. So then, after the table of contents, we have chorales in BWV order. If you have a Bach chorale you're, you're looking for in this book and you can't find it in the table of contents because, it's, because of its ordering, you simply get the BWV number and you look that up on the left column which is numeric here. It goes for three pages. And then you you look up you look up the BWV number in this column and then it gives you the corral number in this book. And then you go to that number. So it's a very easy reference for uh, the um, 
finding corrals if you only have the BWV number. Then after the BWV index, we have a composers of corral melodies. So this, these are all the composers that contributed to the corral melodies used in this book. Realize that Bach did not compose most of these melodies. He actually took pre-existing melodies and harmonized those. They were, most of them were very well-known melodies of the day and he would take those and harmonize them. Uh, Bach does have a few that he actually wrote himself, but most of them were written by other composers. So anyway, this, this is a list of all the composers listed alphabetically with their birth and death dates if known, and then the number of the chorale in the chorales in this book. And then we get to the text here, Johann Sebastian Bach, 436 War Park Chorales, and then we get into the main text. The main musical text consists of 303 pages. And you can see it's on a nice, the book is bound with a nice durable spiral binding. So we have the chorale here listed in German in all capital letters. And then below that is an English translation in italics. The English translations are not provided in the table of contents, but they are here. And then underneath is we have the chorales related to this chorale melody here. In this case, the first one, we have one parentheses one. Then we have two parentheses two. So chorale number one is the first one in, in that shares this chorale melody. Chorale number two is the second one that shares this chorale melody. Then we go on to three. If there's no parentheses after the number, that means that it's the only chorale that has that chorale melody. So let's look at number four. Number four is has a parentheses one. So that's the first chorale that shares that melody. And then we have the chorale number five is parentheses two, in which case that is the second harmonization or the second setting of that chorale melody. And this goes on and on alphabetically like this. They also, the BWV number is listed here after the, after the number, as you can see. So we all, always have the BWV number listed here as well. And if you need more information on these chorales, you can look in the table of contents and that will give you the composer of the chorale melody and uh, where, where it came from, like which cantata it came from or the number in the 371 chorale book. So this goes on and on for 303 pages. You know, one, one very nice feature of this publication is that I've, organized it so there are no page turns between one corral. So at the end of a right page, you will always have the end of a corral. You will never have to turn a page as you're playing, say, halfway through a corral. And so this was, this required me to strategically arrange all the corrals. And so sometimes, occasionally, there's, there's white space for instance, here, here's a, here's a blank page to allow the next ones to not have page turns. There are a few of those, but then there's also uh, the, the default number of systems per page is usually six. And in this case, there's only five because the corral after this was too long to include it on this page. Otherwise, there would have been page turns. See, so all the... All the corrals are organized, so there's no page turns. It's very practical practical for the performer. Also, uh, I went through about three proofs of this to make sure that the darkness of the lines and the note heads were optimal. So, it, so it's really an, an easy to read edition. And the notes are not too, too close together or too far apart. So they're equally spaced for the most part. And this goes on for 
303 pages. It's a beautiful manuscript. I'm sure you will love it. And then we come to the end right here with uh, Bach Scholar's little Bach insignia here at the end. And then we have the uh, back, back page here, the back cover. So I'm sure you will love this. If you like sight reading and harmony and have benefited from this, you will absolutely love this new publication by Bach Scholar, J.S. Bach, 436 four-part chorales. Links are below this video where you can get the hard copy and a non-printable PDF for less than half the price of the hard copy, but you will absolutely love this book with a nice spiral binding. And it's printed on nine by 12. The, it's This is the concert standard nine by 12 inches. It's, it's not eight and a half by 11 like some books, but nine by 12, which is the standard for musical books. You will love this book. Go get your copy today and thank you for watching this video.